Pakistan's digital future rests on one invisible backbone, Spectrum. It's what carries every call, every payment, every online classroom. But right now, Pakistan is running on just 274 megahertz of a spectrum, less than half of what regional peers enjoy, and far below global benchmarks. The result? Network congestion, dropped calls, and slower data speeds that frustrate millions every day. That's according to reporting by Kalvi Ali for Dawn's Business and Finance Weekly. At the heart of the issue is a clash between the government and telecom operators over how spectrum should be released. Telecom companies argue that high auction prices discourage investment. Amir Ibrahim, CEO of Jazz and chairman of the Telecom Operators Association, put in bluntly. To unlock Pakistan's digital future, we need a pricing and policy framework that encourages investment, not hesitation. The global industry body, GSMA, agrees. In a recent presentation to the government, GSMA's Asia-Pacific head Julian Gorman pointed out that countries like Saudi Arabia, Vietnam and Indonesia have set spectrum prices at just a fraction of what Pakistan has demanded. He also urged Pakistan to resolve long-standing legal and regulatory hurdles, including a two-decade-old court case over the 2.6 MHz band prime frequency for 5G. But progress is slow. Officials at PEMRA and the Frequency Allocation Board have yet to fully disclose who's been holding onto that spectrum for 20 years. Meanwhile, the pending merger of Telenor Pakistan with PDCL has added another layer of uncertainty. IT Minister Shaza Fatma insists Pakistan must go for a fair and transparent auction, anything else, she warns, could invite investigations by the National Accountability Bureau. Former IT Minister Sayyid Aminul Haq takes the opposite view. He once argued that Spectrum should be giving to telecom operators free of cost to speed up 5G rollout. But NAP's shadow looms large. In fact, back in 2018, the Bureau even launched probes against former ministers and regulators over decisions made in 2040. The fear of accountability, some argue, is paralyzing decision making today. The stakes are high. More Spectrum means better connectivity and better access to fintech, health tech, edtech, and entertainment service that could transform lives and livelihood. Less spectrum means Pakistan's risks falling even further behind in the digital race. That's a wrap for now. If you want to read the full article by Kalbi Ali, we have linked it in the description below.